For today's video, we are going to talk about how to add and subtract similar rational algebraic expression. So when we say adding and subtracting similar rational algebraic expression, we are going to add or subtract rational algebraic expression with the same denominator. So just like in adding and subtracting fraction with the same denominator, we just simply copy the denominator and then add or subtract their numerator. So as you can see in symbol, we have a over b plus or minus c over b equals. As you can see, we have the same denominator. So we just simply copy the denominator and then add or subtract their numerator. That is a plus or minus c over b, where b is not equal to 0. So let's have an example. So we are going to perform the indicated operation on number 1. We have 6 over a minus 5 plus 4 over a minus 5. So as you can see, we have the same denominator. Whenever we add or subtract fraction or algebraic expression with the same denominator, we just simply copy the denominator and then add or subtract their numerator. So as you can see, we have denominator that is a minus 5. So we can simply can copy a minus 5, and then 6 plus 4. 6 plus 4, that is 10, over a minus 5. So this will be our final answer. What about number 2? x minus 2 over x minus 1 plus x minus 2 over x minus 1. So we have x minus 1 in the denominator and then x minus 2 plus x minus 2. So we are going to com combine same term. So that is x plus x. We have 2x. Negative 2 plus negative 2 is negative 4 over x minus 1. So this will be our final answer. So let's have another example. On number 3, we have x squared minus 2x minus 7 all over x squared minus 9 plus 3x plus 1 all over x squared minus 9. So first step, we are going to copy the denominator. So since we have the same denominator as x squared minus 9, and then x squared minus 2x minus 7 plus 3x plus 1. Then we are going to combine like terms. So we have x squared negative 2x plus 3x, that is positive x or simply 1x. Then negative 7 plus 1, that is negative 6 over x squared minus 9. Now, in order for us to find or to simplify our answer, we are going to find the factors of the numerator and denominator. So we have x squared plus x minus 6. So since the value of a is 1, so we just simply find the factor of x squared, that is x and x. Then, two numbers, if you multiply, you can get negative 6. If you add, you can get positive 1. So that is 3 and negative 2. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. 3 plus negative 2 is positive 1. So the factors of x squared plus x minus 6 is x plus 3 and x minus 2. What about x squared minus 9? So as you can see, we don't have a linear term. So we just write the factor of x squared, that is x and x, and then negative 9, that is positive 3, then negative 3. So therefore, let us write x squared plus x minus 6 into x plus 3 times x minus 2 over x plus 3, x minus 3. And then we can cancel x plus 3. So therefore, our final answer is x minus 2 over x minus 3. So this will be our final answer. What about number 4? We have 
x square plus 3x plus 2 all over x square minus 1 plus x square minus 2x minus 3 all over x square minus 1. First, let us copy the denominator x square minus 1. And then x square plus x square that is 2x square. Then 3x plus negative 2x is x. And then 2 plus negative 3 is negative 1. Now, to simplify our answer, let us find the factor of 2x squared plus x minus 1 and x squared minus 1. The factors of 2x squared plus x minus 1 is 2x minus 1 and x plus 1. If you are going to multiply 2x minus 1 and x plus 1 using FOIL method, you can get 2x squared plus x minus 1. Then the factor of x squared minus 1, that is x plus 1 and x minus 1. Since we can cancel x minus 1, so we're going to cancel it. So we have now 2x minus 1 over x minus 1. So this will be our final answer. So let's have another example. On number 5 and number 6, as you can see, the operation this time is subtraction. So again, whenever we add or subtract rational expression with the same denominator, we just simply copy the denominator and then add or subtract the numerator. So we have 7 over 4x minus 1 minus 5 over 4x minus 1. So we have here 4x minus 1 on the denominator and then 7 minus 5. 7 minus 5, that is 2 over 4x minus 1. So this will be our final answer. What about the number 6? We have x squared plus 3x plus 2 all over x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 3x plus 3 all over x squared plus 2x minus plus 1. Now, so since we have the same denominator, we just simply copy the denominator. x squared plus 2x plus 1. And then, let us write first the numerator. x squared plus 3x plus 2. I'm going to put a parenthesis to emphasize that the operation is subtraction. Minus 3x plus 3. Then, we have x squared plus 3x plus 2 negative times positive 3x negative 3x. Then, let us distribute negative to positive 3, that is negative 3, all over x squared plus 2x plus 1. Then, let us simplify. Let us write x squared. And then, we have here 3x minus 3x is 0. So, we are going to cancel 3x and negative 3x. Then, 2 minus 3 is negative 1 over x squared plus 2x plus 1. So, to simplify our answer, let us find the factors of numerator and denominator. We all know that x squared minus 1, the factors are x plus 1 and x minus 1. If you multiply 1 and negative 1, you can get negative 1. If you are going to add, you can get 0. That's why x squared minus 1 has no linear term. Then, x squared plus 2x plus 1. So the factors are factors of x squared, that is x. Factors of 1. If you add, you can get 2. If you multiply, you can get positive 1. That is x plus 1 and x plus 1. So therefore x squared minus 1, that is x plus 1 times x minus 1 over x squared plus 2x plus 1, that is x plus 1, then x plus 1. So we can cancel x plus 1. So therefore, our final answer is x minus 1 over x plus 1. So this will be our final answer. On number 7, we have x squared plus 5x minus 20 
all over 3x squared plus x minus 2 minus negative 10 minus 6x minus 5x squared all over 3x squared plus x minus 2. So again, we have the same denominator. So we just simply copy the denominator. That is 3x squared plus x minus 2. And then let us write the numerator. So we have x squared plus 5x minus 20. I'm going to put an open and close parenthesis to give an emphasis that the operation is subtraction. Minus negative 10 minus 6x minus 5x squared. Then let us simplify. We have now x squared plus 5x minus 20. And then let us distribute the negative sign on each term of the trinomial. So we have negative times negative is positive 10. Negative times negative 6x is positive 6x. And then negative times negative 5x squared, that is positive 5x squared. All over 3x squared plus x minus 2. Then let us combine like terms. So, x squared plus 5x squared, that is 6x squared. Then, 5x plus 6x, that is 11x. Then, negative 20 plus 10 is negative 10. All over 3x squared plus x minus 2. So, to simplify our answer, let us find the factors of the numerator and denominator. So let me start with the numerator. That is 6x squared plus 11x minus 10. So since the value of a is greater than 1, that is 6. So how do we find the factor of this number? So we have 6 times negative 10 is negative 60. Now, what are the two numbers? If you add, you can get 11. And if you multiply, you can get negative 60. So that is 15 and negative 4. 15 times negative 4 is negative 60. 15 plus negative 4 is positive 11. Then, we are going to write 6x squared. Then I'm going to replace 11x by 15 and negative 4. So I'm going to write first negative 4. Then x plus 15x minus 10. So negative or negative 4x plus 15x, that is 11x. Then let us factor by group. So we have the greatest common factor of 6x squared minus 4x that is 2x. Then, 6x squared divided by 2x is 3x. The negative 4x divided by 2x is negative 2. Plus, greatest common factor of 15x and negative 10 is 5. Then, 15x divided by 5 is 3x. Negative 10 divided by 5 is negative as you can see, we have 3x minus 2. 3x minus 2, then 2x plus 5. So the factors of 6x squared plus 11x minus 10 is 3x minus 2 and 2x plus 5. What about the denominator? We have 3x squared plus x minus 2. So again, the value of a is greater than 1. So this time, we are going to multiply 3 times negative 2. That is negative 6. What are the two numbers? If you multiply, you can get negative 6. If you add, you can get positive 1. So there is no question that is 3 and negative 2. So 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. 3 plus negative 2 is positive 1. So let us write 3x squared. And then, I'm going to put 3 first. 
so that we can factor 3x square and 3. So plus 3x minus 2x minus 2. Then, let us factor by group. So we have the greatest common factor of 3x square and 3x is 3x. Then, 3x square divided by 3x is x. Then, we have 3x divided by 3x is 1. Then, we have negative. Greatest common factor of 2x and negative 2 is 2. Then, 2x divided by negative 2, that is x, rather. Then, negative 2 divided by negative 2 is positive 1. So therefore, if you have x plus 1 and x plus 1, you are on the right track. So we have the factor that is x plus 1 and 3x minus 2. So again, the factors of 3x squared plus x minus 2 is x plus 1 and 3x minus 2. Now, let us substitute this factor to our solution. 6x squared plus 11x minus 10 that is 3x minus 2 times 2x plus 5. Then, on the denominator, 3x squared plus x minus 2. That is x plus 1 and 3x minus 2. x plus 1, then 3x minus 2. So therefore, we can cancel 3x minus 2. And our final answer is 2x plus 5 over x plus 1. So this will be our final answer. So again, whenever you add or subtract rational algebraic expression with the same denominator, we just simply copy the denominator and then add or subtract their numerator. So thank you so much. I hope you learned from this video. See you again next time.